In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. From the Epistle of St. Paul to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15, we read the following. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunk with wine, in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. In this passage, we read this verse, Redeeming the Time, talking about second chance in our life. Everyone who experienced a failure in his life, he learned from this failure, and he learned lesson as a second chance, how to overcome this when it comes again, or if he faced the same experience or a similar experience. A second chance is a very important thing in our growth, whether it's in social life, spiritual life, academical life, a second chance is a very important. And that's why we see in our spiritual life always God is giving us a second chance. And not only the God of a second chance only, but He's a God of second, third, fourth, and fifth, and thousand millions chances. And in the second chance, we want to learn two things. When we face any failure spiritually, we repeat it, our sin or our weakness, or we have a failure in certain thing in our life, or when we face anything that struggle, we struggle with, we learn those two things. Number one, that do not waste the second chance. Do not waste the second chance. One time I was working on the laptop and I had all my files saved and structured and categorized and collected all files and presentation all over the years. And all of a sudden I found the laptop like just shut off. And I did all possible ways to retrieve all these data and I couldn't. And I said in my mind, my second chance would be I will have to have a backup plan no matter what will happen. I will have to do this regularly. If I don't do this, I didn't learn from the first chance. I didn't learn from the first mistake or the first weakness. And our spiritual life is the same. Do not waste the second chance. Our God is giving us chances. And he did give many chances to his people. And we see this all over the Bible in the Old Testament and New Testament. In book of Jonah, chapter 3, God gave a chance to both Jonah and the Ninevites. He gave every one of them a second chance. When he told Jonah, arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and preach to it the message that I tell you, so Jonah arose and went to Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly great city, a three-day journey in extent, and Jonah began to enter the city on the first day's walk. Then he cried out and said, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. So the people of Nineveh believed God, proclaimed a fast, and put on sackcloth from the greatest to the least of them. We see the people of Nineveh in their second chance, they did not waste it and they repented. How about us? When the Lord Jesus Christ offered a, sang, a second in cha chance, the first thing that we shouldn't waste this. The Lord taught us in Matthew chapter 11 verse 12, from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force and that's why we should strive and we shouldn't waste any opportunity any chance 
And that's because the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. It's going to be hard to grasp the kingdom of God. It's going to be hard to, uh, to, to have it and to, to be in it. And that's why we shouldn't waste the second chance. In the Agbeya, the litany of the ninth hour, we say about the thief who did not waste the chance. When the thief saw the prince of life hung on the cross, he said, had not the one crucified with us been a God incarnate, the sun would not hide its rays, nor would the earth have quake trembling. But O the Almighty One who endures all things, remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Every second chance is a very important opportunity for us to go back, to change, to uh, sit, and learn from the mistake that we did and benefit from. How to benefit from this second chance? If I have from the first mistake my word upset somebody or my action someone upset someone, so a good smile and a good action will for sure help me to take this second chance to help me growing. If my word if my words did not have any appreciation any thank you any anything that appreciate the actions in front of you then i always take this practice and this exercise to say thank you and i always have this appreciation all the time make every effort to make an appreciation if any uh, deed or action made anyone to upset to leave the church, to upset someone from the service, to upset someone and have and, and have struggle in his spiritual life, from his spiritual life, I should be gentle and use a gentle word and use gentle deeds to, to make, to show the love in God for them. And that's why we shouldn't waste this second chance. Anyone who faced a weakness, who faced a failure, will appreciate a second chance. The second lesson from this that we shouldn't wait till the last chance because simply we don't know when is the last chance will be. We shouldn't wait. We shouldn't underestimate all these opportunities. We shouldn't take these opportunities lightly saying, well, tomorrow I will fix it or later on I will change this or um, in the next month or in the next week, I will try to arrange for this. Opportunities are, although God is giving us many opportunities and many chances, but we don't know when will be the last chance. Maybe I will miss it. And if I miss it, then I lost everything. And that will happen also on two levels. On a personal level, my spiritual life, and on the service level, people who, on whom I am serving. If on my personal level, I feel that there is a certain weakness, a certain positive things that I should do, and I did not take this, and I did not learn this from the first mistake, then, and then I will lose it for the second and third and fourth and fifth. I don't know if this will happen again, if I am giving this opportunity again, even for myself or for my, the other person, maybe the other person will uh, will travel to heaven or maybe I will. So that's why we don't know when, when is the last chance. And on the ministry and the service level also, many times we think about children and youth whom we are serving and we say tomorrow I will do this, tomorrow I will do the outreach or next week I'll try to, to do this in my service or so. And then I will find Whoever left, left, and whoever felt disappointment, felt disappointment. And then I will come to a level that I don't have even a, a chance. I lost all chances in the ministry and in the service level also. I should not wait till the last chance because I don't know when is the last chance. Uh, the good thing that in our church is always reminding us, is always giving this in our minds 
The good thing that we always feel God's presence in every time we gather together to pray, in every time we pray a liturgy, God in the midst of us, and the church keep reminding us, Emmanuel with us, God is with us, God, the Holy Spirit in you. Every time we remind ourselves and we remind ourselves that God is with us, and we also remind ourselves with the many opportunities that we have and we will have, but we remember those two things. Number one, do not waste the second chance. And number two, do not wait till the final or to the last chance because we don't know when it comes. Redeeming the time for the days are evil. May glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.